she would say, what are you gay or what are you not man enough for her? Uh, are you just not, you're just not a man enough person to be with her? Is, is, this, what's, is this what your problem is? She would really uh, uh, get down on me. So um, she gave you the impression that she questioned whether or not you were gay? Yes. Mr. Menendez, did you ever question in your mind whether or not you were gay? Yes. And why was that, if you know? It's because I, uh, I didn't understand what was happening with my father. And what do you mean you didn't understand it? In uh, California, it, it, uh, I didn't understand why it didn't hurt uh, so much and uh, anymore, and I didn't understand. Uh, I just felt like I was having more friends because I had a car and I was able to play tennis with them, and I was a little bit more independent and. I felt like I was supposed to be stronger, and I would still um, be doing this with Dad, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't scream at him or fight back with him because I was afraid. But I, I didn't. I still thought I should have, and I would still be able to have an orgasm. Uh, Okay, so those things, those factors, made you th wonder if, in fact, maybe you were gay. Maybe that's why this is happening. Maybe that's why I don't resist. Maybe that's why it doesn't hurt. Is that what you mean? Yes, I didn't understand. And did did these concerns about whether or not you were gay did this bother you? Yeah, it was on my mind a lot. I, I, uh, it bothered me. Did you think it was wrong for somebody to be gay, or was it just that you didn't know what you were? No, I didn't think I was wrong to think I was... Uh, no, you didn't understand my question. <clears throat> Do you think it's, it was wrong for people to be gay? No. So, what was it? It was just that I was confused, and uh, it was difficult for me. My mom made it seem like it was worse than death uh, to be gay, and... Uh, and I, I, I didn't think I was, I just, I didn't know. I, I really didn't understand. I Did you like confused. girls? Yes. Were you attracted to girls? Yes. And uh, eventually, did you have uh, intimate relationships with girls? Yes. You said your mom made it sound like the worst thing in the world. Did your father make uh, gay jokes? Yes. Did your father call you a particular name associated, uh, a negative name for gay people? Yeah, he people? called me a faggot. Did he call you that a lot? Yeah, he either called me a fag or a faggot. Um, he used both of them. Uh, he, he hated <laughs> gay people, um, and he absolutely re refused to uh, Except that what was happening between us, he just said that it wasn't uh, any of that. He hated that. Without naming him, is, was there a relative on your mother's side of the family that was perceived by the family as being gay? He, he was gay. Okay. Well, we didn't know that. We just felt that he was. Okay. And how did your father talk about or treat that particular individual? He ridiculed him, made fun of him, uh, talked a lot behind his back, would say things like, you don't want to be, I don't want to say his name, you don't want to be like this person. Uh, uh, he would, one time I remember Lyle bought the same color and same, same, basically the same type of shoe as this person was wearing. And he made fun of Lyle for the longest time for it. For getting the same kind of shoes as the relative. Yeah. Now, what did you think when your father, who is having sex with you, is taunting you with being gay? I was real confused. Um, I didn't think that what Dad and I was doing was a gay thing. I thought it was just what Dad and I was doing. and. Uh, but it made me real confused because 
it didn't hurt like I thought it should anymore. And so I didn't understand. When your father called you faggot, did you ever answer him back in your head? Yes. What did you say? I said, well, then what the hell are you? Now, when you were 13 to 15 and the rough sex was happening, did you, uh, based on things your father was doing, did you form some opinion about uh, his experience in these matters? I didn't, I didn't hear the first part of the question. Are you hearing okay right now? Yeah. You want to perhaps we could take a break briefly? Okay. We need a vote for... All right, we'll take a recess and we'll resume at 10 minutes after the hour.